Hi everyone, welcome to today's practice. I hope you're having a great week so far. Um, thank you for joining me for your practice today. Today we have a full body, well-rounded vinyasa flow practice. So if you do have any blocks you would like to use, please do have them close by. And just before we begin, if you are enjoying these videos and you haven't already, please do consider subscribing to my channel. It just really helps me out in providing um, two videos a week for you and just really supports me um, on this channel. So I really appreciate any support. So with that all being said, let's come on to our back today. We're going to come into Supta Baddha Konasana. We're not going to be here too long, so just bring the soles of the feet together. Let the knees fall wide and just allow your spine to just rest onto the ground beneath you. And just take your time to get there. So wiggle around, adjust your clothing, let your hands rest wherever your hands naturally want to rest. Close down your eyes and just try to relax the shoulders, relax the arms, the fingers. And just let the knees fall completely with gravity so you're not holding on to anything. And then slowly just start to feel the breath flowing in and out of the body. Feeling the subtle rise and fall of the belly and the chest. And as you start to arrive here, just start to simply be an observer. Observe the sensations, maybe the stretch that you feel. Maybe there's a little bit of discomfort. And just see if you can simply watch these sensations without acting on them, without fidgeting or having to change anything. Just simply start to witness them be there and then let them float away. And if you haven't already, start now to just deepen the breath. Sending the breath further into the belly, the chest, all the way to the top. And as you're exhaling, seeing if there's any extra gripping, anything that you can just release and let go of. And then let's together take a deep breath in through the nose. And then open the mouth, let it go. Continuing to connect with your breath. Just slowly start to wiggle your fingers. And then take your hands around the backs of the knees. Just gently draw the knees together and then hug the knees into your chest. Take a moment here just to rock a little bit side to side, releasing into the lower back. And then place the soles of the feet to the floor, feet about hip distance apart. And then go ahead and take your right ankle on top of your left knee and begin to just draw the right knee away from you. From there you can stay, otherwise interlace the hands behind the left hamstring and just begin to draw the left thigh closer towards your chest. Just feeling into the right outer hip, maybe using your right elbow just to lightly guide it away a little bit more. Taking a deep breath in and a deep breath out. Lovely. From there, slowly placing the left foot back down. Keep the right ankle where it is. And then place your hands either side of your hips. Flex the right foot. Take a breath in. And then press into the left foot. Lift your hips up, coming into this bridge pose variation. Really squeeze the bum at the top. Feel the glutes activate as you feel the hips start to open a little bit more. Taking a deep breath in and a deep breath out. Look, lovely, take an inhale, press into that left foot and then slowly release the hips all the way back down. Release the right foot to the floor, just switching sides, left ankle, right knee. 
Again, find the knee drawing away from you. And then maybe interlace the hands behind the right hamstring as you begin to draw the knee towards you. And again, just breathe into the sensations. Notice what you feel, where you feel it. Taking another breath in. And then exhaling, slowly releasing the right foot down, bringing both hands next to your hips. Spread your toes and then as you breathe in, press into your right foot, lift your hips, squeeze the bum at the top as you draw that left knee away from you. Just start to really feel each toe, the sole of the foot, the heel of the foot, as you use that to press the hips further to the sky. Take a breath in and a breath out. Lovely. Let's take one more inhale here. And then exhale, slowly release the hips back to the floor. Release the left foot to the floor. Send both feet to the bottom of the mat and then just reach your arms up over the head and just take a full body stretch here. Point the fingers, point the toes or flex the feet. And then bring both knees into the chest. Again, give yourself a squeeze. And then from there, just start to rock and roll a few times, forwards and backwards, forwards and backwards. And then eventually come all the way up and into tabletop. So just scoot your legs around. Hands come under the shoulders, knees come underneath the hips and just set up a nice tabletop position. From here, with the toes tucked, begin to take some hip circles. So send your hips over to the right, all the way towards the heels, over to the left, and then draw them forwards to the wrists. And once you've found that movement, just continue in your own time with your own breath. And then maybe just close the eyes and just get any other movements involved. So just start to really move the body, get the shoulders involved, the spine involved. Maybe once you've done a few one way, you rotate the other direction. Just noticing how your body's feeling, what's feeling tight, what's feeling good. Perfect, and eventually come back to centre, back to tabletop. Spreading through the fingers, go ahead and tuck your toes under, take a breath in. And then as you breathe out, just lift your knees a couple of inches from the mat. Once you've lift your knees, go ahead and tuck your tailbone round your spine, gaze towards the knees, think cat pose in the upper back. Begin to zip up through the lower belly, hold it there for five, four, three, two, on one, lower the knees. Inhale, drop your belly, lift your chin, lift your chest, find your cow pose. And then exhale, round the upper back, chin to chest, lift the knees again, holding for five, four, three, two, one. Lower the knees, inhale, drop the belly, lift the chin, lift the chest. And then exhale, round the upper back, chin to chest, lift the knees, squeezing through the lower belly, holding for five, four, three, two, one. Drop the knees, inhale, drop the belly, lift the chin, lift the chest. And then this time, exhale, lift your knees, lift your hips, come into your first downward facing dog. And once you get there, just pedal out through the legs. So again, just moving intuitively, taking any wiggles, any shakes, anything at all that you need. Just really working your way into how your body's feeling. Beautiful. And then eventually, let's find stillness. Take your feet mat distance apart. Turn your heels on your toes out. Bend your knees and begin to walk your hands towards the back of the mat. So coming into a wide forward fold. Let the knees be soft, maybe grab opposite elbows and just sway a little bit side to side, just working into the lower back, the hamstrings.
Beautiful. And then eventually find center, find stillness. Release the arms to the floor. Find a halfway lift, inhale. And then exhale, bend your knees halfway. Once you're there, lift your arms, breathe in, find this active malasana squat at the back of the mat. Think about the knees drawing open towards the little toe edges of the feet. Think about lifting your biceps in line with your ears. Take a deep breath in. And then exhale, forward fold, hands to the floor, let the head release. We'll repeat this twice, inhale, bend the knees, find your active squat. Exhale, straighten the legs, forward fold, let it go. And then one more time, bend the knees, inhale, active squat, this time hold. Press into the big toes, lift your thumbs for five, four, three, two, inhale. Exhale, release as you forward fold. Really nice. On an inhale, find a halfway lift, look forwards. And then exhale, begin to walk your hands all the way to the top of the mat, coming into a high plank. Once you get there, step your feet about hip distance apart, really pressing the floor away, little tuck of the tailbone, take a breath in. And a breath out. Good, again, inhale. And then exhale, lower just your left knee underneath your hip. Lift your right foot, point your right toe, take an inhale, drop the belly, lift the chin, lift the right leg. Exhale, knee to nose, try to round the spine, give it a kiss. Again, inhale, lift the leg, lift the chest. Exhale, knee to nose, round and squeeze. One more time, inhale, lift the leg. Exhale, knee to nose, this time hold. Look forwards and then step your right foot forwards between your thumbs. Walk your hips and your hands forwards, lift your chest. Inhale, Anjaniasana, low lunge. Reaching through the fingertips, pressing firmly into that right foot. Take a breath in. And a breath out. Lovely, take one more inhale. On your exhale, just the left hand comes down to the floor. Lift your right arm, begin to twist to the right. Option here to lift your left knee, drawing that right hip back a little bit more. Take a breath in. And a breath out. Good, take one more inhale, try to turn that right shoulder open. And then exhale, right hand comes down to the floor. Lift the left knee if you haven't, take an inhale, runner's lunge, chest draws forwards. And then exhale, step your left foot to meet your right foot, finding a fold at the front of the mat. Inhale, halfway lift, lengthen your spine. And then fold as you exhale, nose to knee. Bend your knees, inhale, find chair pose, this time Utkatasana. Lifting the thumbs again, engaging through the thighs, take a breath in. Exhale, forward fold, hands down, head in. Twice more, bend your knees, inhale, chair pose, feel the energy rise. Exhale, let it go, find that fold. One more time, bend the knees, inhale, chair pose. Exhale, forward fold, let it go. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, plank pose, step back. Holding your high plank, finding that strong upper push-up shape. So you can inhale, press the mat away. Exhale, lower to your belly, drop the knees or keep them lifted. Inhale for cobra number one, squeeze the bum, lift your chest. And then exhale, down dog, lift your hips up and back. Take a breath in. And a breath out. And on an inhale, roll forwards, plank pose. As you exhale, lower your right knee underneath your right hip. 
Inhale, lift your left foot, drop the belly, lift the chin, free legs, table. Exhale, knee to nose, squeeze it in, really try to give the knee a kiss. Again, inhale, drop the belly, lift the left leg. Exhale, knee to nose. Inhale, lift the chest, lift the chin. Exhale, this time knee to nose, pause, squeeze. And then left foot steps forwards. Draw your hips forwards, draw your chest forwards. And Jamiasana is your breath in. Reaching tall, squeezing the glutes. Thinking about the front heel and the back knee drawing together. Breathe in. Breathe out. Take one more inhale. On your exhale, just the right hand comes down. Begin to open that left shoulder to the left. Maybe lift the right knee up, coming into your twist. Breathing in. Breathing out. Lovely. Take one more inhale. Really press through that left foot. And then exhale, left hand comes down to the mat. Inhale, lift the right knee if it's not, look forwards. And then step your right foot forwards, finding your forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift, lengthen. Exhale, release and fold. Bend the knees, inhale, chair pose, Utkatasana. This time, exhale, aeroplane chair, bring your chest to your thighs, send your arms behind you. Again, inhale, chair. Exhale, aeroplane chair. Inhale, chair. Exhale, aeroplane chair. This time, inhale, stand up, straighten the legs, lift the gaze, maybe look up. And then fold as you exhale, hands down, head in. Inhale to halfway lift. Exhale, step or hop back to high plank, lower down, either chaturanga or to the belly. Inhaling to cobra or back bend number two. And then exhaling, downward facing dog. Take a deep breath in. And a deep breath out. Inhale, roll forwards, find high plank. Exhale, lower just your left knee underneath the left hip. Inhale, lift your right foot, lift your chin, lift your chest. Exhale, right knee, right armpit. So squeeze it wide and high this time, finding that little oblique crunch. Inhale, extend it high. Exhale, knee to elbow, armpit. One more inhale, squeeze the bum at the top. Exhale, knee to elbow, armpit, hold. Flex your right foot and then step your right foot to the outside of the right hand. Walk your hips and your hands forward, you're in a lizard lunge. And then option to stay here, option to lift your left knee off the floor. Take a breath in. And a breath out. Nice, and then press into the left hand, inhale, right arm to the sky, finding that twist again. Opening up, trying to peel the right shoulder open, take a breath in. And then exhale, bring your right hand next to your right big toe. Drop your left heel flat, and then inhale, see if you can send your left arm to the sky into this side angle shape. Think about pressing elbow to inner knee, inner knee to elbow. Take a breath in. And a breath out. Nice, using the strength of your legs, inhale, rise to warrior two. Adjust your feet as much as you need to and then find a generous bend in that right knee. Take a breath in. And then as you exhale, straighten your right leg, hands to the heart, find an active side lunge at the back of the mat. So we're not coming all the way down. Good, from there, take an inhale, lengthen the spine. And then warrior two, exhale, bend the right knee, power into that shape. 
two more like that inhale active squat at the back of the mat exhale warrior two powering out of that left leg inhale come back into that side lunge exhale warrior two this time pause Flip your right palm, inhale, reverse your warrior. And then exhale, straighten the right leg, triangle pose, right hands to inner shin, left arm to the sky. Take a breath in. And a breath out, really pressing through all parts of the feet. Take a breath in. And exhale. Lovely. On your next inhale, press down to rise up, arms to a T. Exhale, bend the right knee, cartwheel the hands down, frame your right foot. Lift your left heel up and then inhale the right arm back to the sky. From here, side plank, pivot to the little toe edge of the left foot. Option one, step the right foot to meet the left foot. Option two, bring the right foot in the center of the mat for support. Or option three, you can drop the left knee and extend the right leg. Find your variation and then really think about pressing through that left hand. Good, breathing in. Breathing out, can you reach up higher with the hips? Take one more inhale. And then exhale, hands down, find high plank. Pause there, take a goodbye breath. And then exhale, chaturanga or to the belly. Inhaling, up dog or cobra. Exhaling, downward facing dog. Really, really nice. Take a deep breath in. And a deep breath out. Looking towards your toes, soft bend into the knees. Begin to walk your hands all the way towards the feet at the back of the mat. Once you get there, let the head be heavy, chin to chest. Begin to roll vertebrae by vertebrae, all the way up to standing. Once you get to the top, find mountain pose. Find a soft chair, so a kind of half-hearted chair with a softness in the knees. And then shift the weight into the left foot. Draw the right knee into your chest and then place your right ankle on top of your left knee. Bring your hands to your heart, you can stay there. Or maybe start to send your bum back, your chest forwards, folding. Maybe the elbow comes to the ankle, the elbow comes to the knee. Wherever you are, just feel the stretch, find it and then breathe into it. Amazing, and then take your left hand onto your left hip. Take your right hand, option one, around the right knee. Option two, two piece fingers around your right big toe. As you breathe in, stand up, extend your right leg out to the right. Good, maybe if you're feeling stable here, you gaze over your left shoulder. Amazing, and then draw your right knee back to center. Bring both hands to the hips, straighten the leg if it's not, if you can. And then bend the left knee, we're going to step the right foot about halfway down the mat. Turn your left heel in, so your toes are at about a 45 degree angle. And begin to draw your right hip back. On an inhale, extend your left arm to the sky. Exhale, revolved triangle, left hand comes to the shin, or maybe the big toe edge of the right foot, or maybe the little toe edge of the right foot. Once it's landed, inhale, lengthen your spine again, and then exhale, turn to the right, maybe the right arm extends to the sky. Really strong press through the feet, make sure both feet are grounded. Breathing in, and breathing out. Nice, on your next inhale, look down. Exhale, bend the right knee a little bit, both hands to the floor, and then step back to high plank, and then either down dog or chaturanga. Inhaling, up dog or cobra. Exhaling, downward facing dog. 
really really nice on your next breath in roll forwards plank pose exhale just the right knee to the mat inhale left leg lifts high drop the belly point the left toe exhale knee to armpit squeeze it high squeeze it wide inhale left leg extends exhale knee to left armpit inhale to extend last time knee to armpit this time pause flex the left foot and then step the left foot to the outside of the left hand use your hand if you need to walk your hips forwards till you feel the stretch through the right hip flexor and then option to stay there maybe again lift that right knee plant the right palm inhale the left arm to the sky turning through the chest take a breath in and then exhale left hand comes next to your left big toe drop your back heel flat inhale right arm to the sky again just turn the chest can you bend even more into that left knee breathing in breathing out really nice using the power of your legs inhale rise warrior two adjust your feet as you bend into that left knee breath in and a breath out lovely inhale straighten your left leg hands to heart center exhale active side lunge bends the right knee maybe you can lift your left toes off the floor think bum back chest forwards and then again, let's work the legs a little bit. Look to the left foot, breathe in. Exhale, warrior two, breathe out. Inhale, side lunge. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, side lunge. Exhale, warrior two. Pause there, inhale, reverse your warrior. Exhale, straighten the left leg, side, uh, triangle pose, sorry, left hand down, right arm up. Press into your feet, reach out of the right fingertips, breathing in, breathing out. Beautiful, on your next inhale, rise back up, arms to a T. Exhale, cart all the hands down, frame your left foot, lift your right heel. Inhale, left arm to the sky. And then your side plank, so make your decision, drop the knee or stack the feet or take the foot to the centre. Lift the hips and then maybe you can gaze towards that left thumb. Breathing in. Breathing out. Good, engaging the belly, the glutes, take one more breath in. Exhale, plank pose, upper push up, pause if you can for a good bye inhale. And then exhale, lower chaturanga or to the belly. Inhaling, up dog or cobra. Exhaling, downward facing dog. Take a breath in, look to your toes. Exhale, bend your knees, begin to walk your hands all the way towards the feet at the back of the mat. Tuck your chin, begin to roll, vertebrae by vertebrae all the way up into your mountain pose. Find your drishti, your gaze, shift the weight into the left foot, find a softness in both knees. Left knee draws to the chest left ankle right knee hands to heart again stay or send your bum further back your chest further forwards finding your personal edge if you're falling out no one cares just give it another go beautiful and then take your right hand onto your right hip left two piece fingers around the big toe or the left knee and then inhale lift the left knee to the left chest forwards opening into your hips maybe gazing over your right shoulder good 
Good. On your next inhale, draw that left knee to centre, both hands onto the hips. Little bend in the right knee, step your left foot about halfway down the mat. Turn your right heel in, two flat feet. And then inhale the right arm to the sky, tri reverse triangle. Exhale, right hand to shin, left big toe or right left little toe. Once you're there, think about chest forwards, breathe in. And then breathe out, maybe the left arm extends, maybe it doesn't. Really, really deep twist here, breathing in. And breathing out. Take one more breath in. Exhale, look down, both hands down, bending to that left knee. Step back to plank, breathe in. And then exhale, lower chaturanga or to the belly. Inhaling, cobra or upward facing. And then exhaling, downward facing dog. Really, really nice. Take a deep breath in. And a big sigh. Lovely. On your next inhale, look forwards. Exhale, drop your knees. Bring your big toes together. Take your knees as wide as the mat. And then just find a wide leg child's pose. Stretch the arms forwards. Let the forehead melt to the mat. Just take a moment again to feel the sensations. Feel any tingling, pulsing, heat. And just start to let the breath come back to a steady rhythm. And when you're ready, slowly slide the hands towards the knees. Bring your knees together, sit your sit bones to one side, releasing the legs out long. Start to come forwards towards the front of the mat, bringing the soles of the feet together again, the knees nice and wide, and then find length through the spine. From here, interlace the hands, take the hands behind, uh, around the feet, sorry. Take an inhale, lift the chest, and then open the elbows, let the spine round, and just begin to fold over your legs. So you're in a really soft variation of your Baddha Try to completely allow the lower body to release with gravity. Try to completely let go of the shoulders and the arms. slowly come all the way back up to a long spine take your left hand behind you close to your sacrum take your right hand to the outside of the left knee and just find a little bit of a twist here just opening up across the shoulders take a deep breath in and a deep breath out lovely and then inhale look forwards Exhale all the way around to the right, left hand, right knee. Take an inhale length. And an exhale to twist. Beautiful. And then looking forwards, release back to a neutral spine. If you can, keep your legs as they are. And just start to come down again to lie on your back into your soup to Baddha Once you get there, option to have your hands next to your hips. Otherwise, take one hand onto your belly, one hand onto your chest. Try to draw the shoulders away from your ears. So close your eyes. Just feel the hands lifting and lowering as you slowly breathe. And then in your own time, in your own breath, 
take five deep nourishing belly breaths. Please don't rush to finish. Make sure you finish your five breaths. But when you have finished your five breaths, slowly take your hands around the backs of the thighs. Start to draw the knees closer together and then just hug your knees into your chest. Wrap your hands around your shins. Take a moment to massage the lower back. And when you're ready, extending the legs to the bottom of the mat, reach the arms up over the head. And then on an inhale, take a breath in and really squeeze your body, squeeze your bum, your fingers, your toes, your face, really clench the belly muscles, everything super squeezing. And then exhale, relax, let it go. Good, one more like that. Inhale, squeeze every single part of your body, your muscles to your bones, your bones to your muscles. Squeeze, 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 squeeze. And then relax, let it go. Release your hands next to your hips. Draw your shoulders down and back as you let your feet naturally roll outwards. Your fingers naturally curl inwards. Your forehead and your cheeks soft as your eyes relax. And just take a few moments here in stillness, in Shavasana. Just to completely let go. Just a few moments of peace. Keeping your eyes closed, just start to listen to the sounds that you can hear. Start to feel the rise and the fall of the belly and the chest. And just start to gently move your fingers and your toes. When you're ready, bring your feet together at the bottom of the mat. Reach your arms up over the head. Take a full body stretch. And then bend your knees, either feet to the floor or hug your knees into the chest one more time. And then with the eyes closed, just slowly roll over to one side using your hands to just gently press yourself up into a comfortable seated position, really trying to just stay for a moment longer. Once seated, grow tall through your spine, bring your hands into prayer position. Take an inhale through the nose, biggest breath you've taken so far of the practice. And then a big ah, let it go. Bowing the forehead down, taking the strength, the openness and the calm and peace that you created off of the mat into the rest of your day and into the rest of your week. 
As always, thank you so much for sharing your practice and time and energy with me today. The light in me honours the light in you.